Hello everyone, I'm Lexi from Power Moves Yoga and today you're joining me in a vinyasa class. So if you can find something in your house, like a block, that would be great. We're going to need one for today to practice. First we're going to start in a seated meditation. Your block comes underneath your bum. Cross your legs and then try to send your shins into your space. Helps get your hips above your knees and your ankles. Start to settle into your space. Follow your breath. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Relax your shoulders, down your back. Lift the top of your head up towards the sky. And then tuck your chin in just a little bit. Take five steady breaths here. At your own pace at your own rhythm. And your next breath in, bring your arms up overhead. Plug your hands into your heart center, Samasiti. I give you a mantra today to repeat to yourself to help you guide yourself through class. I'm working on trust this week, so I offer you to repeat this. I trust in the present. I trust in the journey. Inhale, I trust in the present. Exhale, I trust in the journey. And find your ujjayi pranayama in and out through your nose. to your knees. Take a few seated cat cows here. Inhale, lift up your chest. Up towards the sky. Continue to relax your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, cat pose. Pull away from your knees. Tuck your chin in, panning your belly button in towards your spine. Puffing up your shoulders. Inhale. Pose. Open across your heart. Exhale, cat. Make these nice and gentle. Take a couple more. Last one, and come back to center. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, take a twist up and over towards the right side. Bring your hand onto your leg. Back hand can come towards the mat. Reach the top of your head up, and maybe send your gaze back just as far as it feels good in your body. Inhale back to center. Take a gentle twist towards the other side. Focus on twisting through your belly. Inhale back to center. And we'll find downward facing dog. So take your block, focus whatever you have, place them off to the side. Pike your hips up. Pedal out your feet here. Take a couple breaths. 
warming up the backs of your legs. Find your feet at least hip width distance apart. Your hands are shoulder width distance apart. Now your legs don't need to be straight here. Bend them as much as you need to help find a line of energy from your fingertips to your hips. Take a couple breaths. Bend your knees. Gaze forward, it'll travel to the top of your space. Bring your fingers by your hands, find ragdoll pose. Feet can come out hip width distance or wider. Grab your elbows and let your body hang heavy. And sway side to side. Wiggle out your head, nod it. And release your grip. Bring your toes together or closer. <laughs> Bend your knees as you rise up nice and easy. Take a couple shoulder rolls here. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up overhead, relaxing your shoulders down. Keep your tummy nice and tight and rotate your palms towards one another. We'll take half moon up and over towards the right side. Bring your hands together, find a steeple grip and reach. Press your hip over towards the left side, open across your heart. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, up and over towards the left. Expand across your ribs. Find equal distance in both of your feet. Equal weight is what I meant. <laughs> Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Bend your knees until your fingertips reach your mat. Let your head hang. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to your legs. Lift your heart forward, make your back like a tabletop. Exhale, low lunge, we'll step our left foot back. Pin your belly up and in. Find your knee right on top of your ankle here. Take an easy twist, root down through your left hand. Right hand comes up towards the sky. Can you twist your chest? Open, find a line from fingertip to fingertip. Exhale, half split, frame your foot, lean back. Keep your chest lifted here, flex your toes up towards your face. You can point and flex your toes to wiggle out your ankle a bit. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Send your weight into your front foot, reach your arms up. Now this is a little much for you right away. You're always welcome to bring your hands onto your leg. Plug your front hip back into its socket to help square your hips. Nice breath here, in and out. Exhale, step forward, forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, steeple grip, half moon towards the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, half moon. Squeeze your elbows close towards your biceps. I mean, your ears. <laughs> biceps and elbows towards your ears. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. We'll step our left foot back this time, or right foot back this time, <laughs> low lunge. Inhale, easy twist, open up towards the left. Exhale, half split, lean back. Maybe flex your foot and point it this time around. Wake up your ankle. So lift your chest up here. Find a little arch in your back. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. 
Find the variation that suits your body. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. Hinge forward, lower down halfway on your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press away from your space. Exhale, down dog, flip your toes. Bend your knees, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, half moon towards the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Follow your breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your... Why are sides so hard sometimes, guys? Exhale, step your... Left foot back. <laughs> Find your low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, half split. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, up and over towards the other side. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, half split. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, Plank to Chaturanga. You can always take your Chaturanga on your knees. Helps with form. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. One more time, bend your knees, hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, center. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, half split. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, center. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale your right leg back, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, half split. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, plank to Chaturanga. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your toes to touch here. Lean your hips back, find chair pose. Now send more weight into your heels here. Biceps come close to your ears here again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ball pose. So rise up onto the ball mounts of your feet. Squeezing your legs together here. Tent out your fingertips. Squeeze your chin in. Try to get your forehead to your knees if you can for a couple breaths. A lot of compression in this pose. Release, inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, step your left foot back, little lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise on up. So squeeze your legs together here like you're making them into one. Take a breath here, find your stability. It's okay if you need to step out a little bit. Helps become more stable here. Now we're gonna take revolved crescent, bring your hands through your heart, hinge forward, bring your elbow to the outside of your, your knee. Pull your heart up towards your thumbs. Now this is too much on you starting out. You're also welcome to just twist here. Less compression this way. Find your variation. It's a big transition next. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Line your front heel with the arch of your back foot. Find your long, strong warrior arms. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach, send your hip back, and tick-tock your arms. Spiral your heart up towards the sky. You can always use your hand on your leg for extra support. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten up through both of your legs. Reach up and back. You lift your ribs off of your hip points here. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. Take your float. You're welcome to skip. Always, you can just hold your plank and press it down. We're facing dog. I'll do that this time. Exhale, down dog. Find your breath. Bend your knees. Travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ball pose. Squeeze yourself even tighter this time. And you sit on two your heels, squeezing your heels together. Inhale, halfway lift, release. Exhale, step your right foot back this time, low lunge. Find your base. Rise up for crescent pose. Keep that tummy nice and tight. See if you can get your back heel on top of your toes. Exhale, revolved crescent, or find your twist. Pull your hands to your heart. Big transition, inhale, open up, warrior two. Take gaze over your front knee. Make sure you can only see your big toe, maybe your second toe too. No, no, your knee's in a good spot. Shoulders right on top of your hips. Exhale, extended side angle. Spiral open your heart. Inhale, reverse triangle. Breathe into your ribs. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. Find your flow. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ball pose. Stay here for a couple breaths. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, revolve crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. Hinge forward, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, travel to the top. Halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Find your deepest chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ball pose. Stay for a breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot steps back, low lunge. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, revolve crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. Find some stillness. Bend your knees and travel to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We'll find chair pose here again. See if you can sink down. Maybe come onto your toes. Double back into boat pose. So for boat, you want your knees, buckle your thighs together, toes up towards your face. We'll start to lean back. Now you can honor the C shape in your spine. And when you start to shake a little bit, you feel that tug, you know you've hit your good spot. And bring your hands to your heart center. We'll take prayer twist. Inhale here. Exhale to the right. Keep your thumbs plugged into your heart. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Center and twist. Keep your knees pulled together. Center and twist. Keep going at your own pace. Let's take three more on each side. Two more sets. One more. All right, drape over your knees when you're done. Take a little break. Woo! All right, let's roll on to our backs. Take 10 basic crunches. Hands come behind your head. Splay your elbows out here. Now really press your low back into your space. Inhale to prepare, exhale, lift your heart up towards the ceiling. Inhale, halfway down, see if you can hover your shoulders. Exhale, up, lower, exhale, lift. Make sure you're breathing. We're here for five, four, three, two, last one. All right, take a good morning stretch. Woo! Who else loves core? <laughs> Bring your knees in, we'll rock and roll up. Let's find a plank pose for our last core exercise. Bring your shoulders right on top of your wrists. Your right foot come, your right knee comes in towards your elbow and armpit. One, tap, two, tap. Now switch sides. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. Last side, one, two. All right, let's push back into child's pose. This is a time you can come back to your mantra Take five deep breaths here. I trust in the present. I trust in the journey. A 
on your next breath, we'll find our way to downward facing dog. Take your time. Once you've settled into your dog, send your heart towards your upper thigh. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands, low lunge. Pin your belly button up and in. Inhale, rise up crescent. Let's take exalted warrior next. Your right hand comes down, reach up and over. Keep squeezing your legs together here. Reach for the back wall. Inhale, come back to center. Big transition, exhale, Dekasana. So straighten out through your front leg. Arms come behind you. Flex through your floating foot. Now just try to come off your space, lifting your toe at least a little bit. You can even keep it grounded if needed. If you'd like, you can hinge into a T shape. Inhale, chair pose, bring your feet together. Rise your hands up. Exhale, revolve chair towards the right. Find your hands at your heart. Keep squeezing your knees together here. Make sure they're in place. Bring your heart above your hips. All right, take a rest, come on down to a squat. I'm gonna demonstrate side crow. We've done a lot of twists to get you ready for this. So, your first step. Whew. So it's kind of easy actually if you just come from where we were, a revolve chair. Bend on down, bring your hand out. You're gonna press your arm into your leg. That really helps find a counterbalance. Uh, start fish out your fingertips. Guiding your heart forward Gaze farther than you think. Whew. All right, <laughs> give that a try a couple of times. I'll try it again, walk you through it one more time. Hands out in front of you. Press your arm against your leg. Suctioning your hands into the floor, your mat. Again, leaning your heart over your hands, guiding it forward. And come back down. All right, nice job, guys. <laughs> I'll take a forward fold. Wiggle your feet out here. Let's take gorilla, gorilla pose. So your hands sweep underneath your feet completely. Make a toe to wrist connection. Now you can bend your knees generously. Let your head rock. If you want it to be a little bit more challenging, you can work to straighten your legs. I like to give my hamstrings a break here, so I keep them bent. If you find your mind wandering, always an option to bring it back to your breathing. Bring it back to your mantra. Go ahead, release your grip. Wiggle your feet together. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, eagle. So bring your right arm under, your right leg over. Use your toe as a kickstand off the ground or try to wrap it around your calf. Gaze through your hands here. Bringing your body out like a towel. Unbind. Find tree pose. You can use your foot on the inside of your calf or find it up and in on the inside of your thigh. And to your heart center first, find some stability. If you find it hard to balance, you're a little wobbly, that's okay. <laughs> Maybe try to gaze on something. Um, you're dristy, keep your gaze on one focal point to help find balance a little easier for you. And grow your branches when it feels good, when you feel balanced. Any expression works for, for you. All right, we're gonna take dancer next. 
So you'll swing your right leg back. I like to pinwheel my arm up and open. So your shoulder is going to be open, palm facing out. You grab onto the inside arch of your foot. Other hand reaches up towards the sky. Now it'll start to kick into your hand first. It's more about finding that kick into your hand and leaning all the way forward. Find your variation. Exhale, hands to heart center, release slowly. I trust in the present. I trust in the journey. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, step your left foot forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, exalted warrior, left arm comes down this time. Keep lifting up, finding length here. And come back to center, crescent pose. Exhale, Dakasana, come on forward. Palms facing down towards the ground. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, revolve chair. Take it towards the left this time. Hook your elbow. Pull your heart towards your thumbs. You ready for the side curl again? I know I am. <laughs> All right, I'll demonstrate again on this side. Come on down, bring your hands out. Really use them as a stable base here. Gaze forward, helps you keep your head lifted. Trust your heart. Ooh. Ooh, it's another story to keep that for a couple breaths. <laughs> All right, one more time. All right, we'll take a forward fold. This time we'll take Padagustasana. So your peace fingers, your thumbs, come onto your big toes. Pull your belly close to your upper thighs. Again, you can bend your knees here. Try to feel more to straighten your legs if your belly's touching your thighs. Let any stress drip off your back. And float away. And release your grip. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, eagle on the left. Left arm under. Left leg over. Bringing your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Relax your fingertips. One more breath. Unbind, find tree. Whew. Hands to your heart center. Another way to help find some balance here is pressing your foot into your leg, your leg back into your foot. Also lifting the crown of your head up towards the sky. Throw your branches when you're ready. I like to close my eyes for an extra challenge. I usually fall though. <laughs> Alright, let's take dancer's pose. Open up your left arm, swing it open, kick your foot back, grab onto the inside arch of your foot. Alright, right hand comes up. Kick into your hand. Guide your heart a little forward. 
All right, we'll release. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice job, guys. Lots of hard work here. Woo. Find your center. Inhale, mountain pose. Let's cool down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And find a plank pose. I'll lower down to our space. Try to get your heart to arrive first. You can use your knees. We'll take baby cobra next. So your hands come to your low ribs. Glue the tops of your feet into your space. Inhale, baby cobra. Lift your heart up. Squeeze your elbows together. Now keep your gaze down towards your mat. Toes into your space. Exhale, release. We'll take prone scorpion. So send your right arm out long. Your left leg comes up and over. Your left hand will come in towards your chest to help press it open. That's comfortable for you. You can even take a bind with your hand behind your back. Breathe into your shoulder. And come back to center. Big bow and locust next. Interlacing your fingertips behind your back and rest them on your sacrum. Inhale, bow and locust. Lift your heart up this time. Reach your toes back and even your fingertips can come off your sacrum for an extra challenge. Keep your gaze down. Exhale, release down. Send your left arm out this time. Right leg comes up and over, prone scorpion. Make your way back to center. We'll press ourselves up onto our knees, getting ready for camel pose. Your hands can come on your low back. Pull your elbows together. Now trace your gaze with the ceiling, find camel pose. Sending your hip points forward. If you want, you can go into full camel, but honor where your body is right now. back to center slowly. Have a seat onto your heels. This one gets me a little dizzy, so we'll take a moment. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to the ground. Find your breath. Find a moment of stillness. I trust in the present. I trust in the journey. going to take Janu next. So bring your left foot in, right leg comes out long. You want to find your sit bones here so it helps to tilt your pelvis forward. We'll take revolve Janu, so inhale your arms up. Exhale up and over. Bring your hand on the inside of your leg if that's comfortable. Open up your heart. For an extra challenge, you can even bring your hand that's on the ground to your leg. Maybe grab for your toes, if I can find them. <laughs> Inhale, rise up. Let's switch out to the other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, up and over. Revolve, Janu Shiraz. Maybe bring your hand onto your leg, if that feels comfy. Inhale, rise up. Take a forward fold. Feet forward, tilt your pelvis. Now, I like to bend my knees a little bit here, relieve some stress in my hamstrings. Reach your arms up. 
Exhale, Paschimottanasana, forward fold. Grab for what's accessible. Think about sending your chest towards your toes. on up. Alright, cross your legs. We're going to end class here today in a seated meditation. So you're welcome to continue meditating after the video is over. Reach your arms up overhead. Gather all the positive energy and then plug it into your heart. Let love be the wind that carries you through everything you do. Thank you for joining me on your mat today. Namaste. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos that we have if you like this one. Thanks, guys.